I'm going to show you how to make Creative Kiwi's large reindeer applique and for that I'm going to be using my 5x7 hoop, wash away stabiliser, a selection of threads and I've got a matching bobbin for the outer edge, my squizzers, masking tape, I've got some wash away um, stabiliser here but it's the thin plasticky type and I'm using this because I'm going to be using something that's got a pile to it. My fabric is a, is a, a like a, a faux fur and um, it, I don't want the stitching sinking into the pile. So I'm going to lay that over the top to stop that from happening. So I've got my batting and fabrics cut to size and also some stuffing because the version that I'm going to show you is the one with the stuffed nose. We're going to start off by hooping two layers of wash away stabiliser. And to keep my stabiliser nice and taut in the hoop, I'm going to use a few pins around the top edge of the hoop. So I take my pin, place it on top of the hoop, push it through the stabiliser, bring it back round, and my pin sits nice and neatly on top of the hoop and stops it from being dragged down between the two pieces. I'm just going to put a pin on each side. The larger the hoop, the more pins you will need of course. Load file A into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you your placement outline. Turn your hoop over and you're going to place your backing fabric over the outline that you've just created and tape it in place. Turn your hoop back, then place your batting over the outline. and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. You're now going to trim away the excess batting from around the stitch line. Place your front fabric over the top and then you're going to tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it. Place your belly fabric over the outline here and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. You're now going to trim up your excess fabric from around the stitch line here. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number five and that's going to zigzag around the edge of the belly here so if you want to change your thread now is the time to do so to match your inner fabric or whatever colour you're going to use. I mentioned at the beginning about using a very thin plastic um, wash away stabiliser um, it's, it's also called a topper I'm going to be using that now because we're going to embroider the feet um, next and we don't want the uh, stitching sinking into the pile. If you're not using um, a piled uh, fabric you don't have to worry about this step. So place it over and then just tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine. We're now going to stitch round number six and that's going to do the uh, detail on the outer uh, feet. 
Change your thread to whatever colour you want for the inner pieces of the feet and then you're going to stitch round number seven. Next you're going to trim away the excess fabric from both front and back. So we're going to start off with the back. I'm going to pull away the uh, wash away stabiliser from the top here. Load whatever colour thread you want for the satin stitching around the body and the feet into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 8. Change your thread to whatever colour you want for the satin stitch around the belly and then you're going to stitch round number 9. You can now free your body from the hoop, so turn your hoop over and trim around the edge. You don't have to worry about getting too close because any excess stabiliser left showing we're going to remove later. You want to trim up along the neckline here as close as you possibly can to the stitching because this is going to be your join. And that's your first piece completed. Load file B into your machine and then you're going to hoop your wash away stabiliser and pin it as you did before. Then you're going to load your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you your placement outline. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop the hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim up the excess batting from around the ears and the antlers. You're now going to place your front fabric over the top and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it. Next going to stitch the inner ear detail. I'm going to place a piece of 
wash away stabiliser and this is the thin plasticky kind over the top don't try and hoop this it doesn't work it, you really do need the thicker fabric type for hooping this is literally just a topping to stop your stitching from sinking through into the pile of your fabric and you would use this on things like towels fleece anything that's you know a bit fluffy pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four you might want to change your thread to a different color for this if you are going to do so now is the time to do it you're now going to add the backing turn your hoop over place your fabric over the outline and then tape it in place pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it from your hoop you're now going to trim up the excess fabric from both the back and the front so turn your hoop over A matching bobbin and thread into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number six and that's going to do all the satin stitching all around the edge I'm just going to remove the last of the plastic um, wash away stabilizer from the front You're now going to free these four pieces from the hoop, so turn your hoop over and cut around the edge, taking care not to cut the stitching of course. And that's your second hooping completed. Load file C into your machine. Then as before you're going to hoop two layers of wash away stabiliser and pin around the edges. Then stitch round number one to give you your placement outline. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Remove the tape and trim away your excess batting. Place 
place your fan fabric over the face area and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it. We're now going to trim out this area here and this area here where the hat trim goes. And then you're going to place your fa the fabric that you want for your nose over the area here. Now I'm using a four-way stretch knit called uh, Scuba and it, it's great for this uh, sort of thing because it, it gives, so when you come to stuff the nose, um, it gives you a little bit of give. So place that over the outline and then tape it in place. Pop this into your machine and then stitch round number four. Now it's going to um, stitch nearly all the way around but it's going to leave you a gap that you can stuff the nose with if you want to. You don't have to. If you don't want to do it this way then you would just close it without stuffing it on the following um, stitch round afterwards. So now we're going to put some filler inside the nose here and you don't want to overstuff it because afterwards there's going to be satin stitching and it's got to get through it so you don't want it catching on the foot so less is definitely more so just put a bit of filler in I think that's enough that may be a little bit too much there I'll take that piece out That's fine. I'm just going to tape that down again just to hold it. And we're now going to stitch round number five. You're now going to stitch round number six, and that's just going to give another um, round uh, around the edge of the nose so that you get a nice cutting line. You're now going to place your fabric over the hat area and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number seven to secure it. So time to do some more trimming away and we're going to trim away the top of the hat, the bottom of the hat and around the nose here. Place the fabric that you've got for your hat for the uh, top and bottom over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 8 to secure it. We're now going to trim up around the hat. now going to stitch round number nine and that's going to do the raw edges here, 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 here and around the edge of the nose. If like me you're using a piled fabric 
place your wash away stabiliser over the top and tape it in place. Load white thread into your machine because next you're going to stitch the whites of the eyes. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round to number 10. Put whatever colour you want for the colour of the eyes into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 11. Load your black thread into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 12 and that's going to do the blacks of the eyes and the eyebrows. over and place your backing fabric over the outline of the reindeer and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 14 to attach it. You're now going to trim away all the excess fabric from both back and front of your hoop. So turn your hoop over. You're now going to pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 15 and I'm going to be using a matching bobbin and thread for this and that's going to zigzag up here and it's going to stop where you have to add the first ear. Before you add the ears and antlers make sure that you trim up neatly along this stitch line here so because that's going to be where you're going to join so trim right up as close as you can to the stitch line and the same on this piece here I should have said that we'll be adding the first antler and ear so we're now going to add the antler to the top here and you want to overlap this stitch line here with this stitch line here and then you're going to pin it in place make sure you keep your pins right out of the way of the stitch line though I'm just going to add a little bit of tape there just to hold the edge down and then we're going to add the ear to here this one's going to be a little bit trickier to attach with a pin so take your time and keep it out of the way of the stitch line you're going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number 16 and that's going to attach these two pieces check your join and if you're happy with it then you can stitch round to number 17 and that's going to travel up here and going to zigzag around the edge of the hat we're now going to add the second antler and ear now going to overlap this stitch line here with this one here 
and pin it in place. And I'm going to add a little bit of tape just to hold that down flat. And now I'm going to add the ear. Now I'm going to put that into your machine and stitch round to number 18. If you're happy with the join you can now stitch round number 19 and that's going to zigzag along here. You're now going to add the body so place that between the zigzag lines there and pin it in place. Once again, keep your pins right out of the way of the stitch line. I'm just going to add a little bit of tape just on the side here to hold that down and stop it twisting. You can now pop that into your machine and stitch round number 20 to secure it. And that's going to zigzag along here. If you're happy with your join you're now going to stitch round number 21 and that's going to do the satin stitching up here and down the other side of the face. The next area to stitch is around the nose so load your thread that you want for around the nose into your machine and then you're going to stitch round to number 22. Next is around the hat, so I'm staying with the red and now you're going to stitch round number 23. Change your thread to whatever colour you want for the trim on the hat and then you're going to stitch round number 24. I'm just going to remove the wash waste stabiliser from the face. You can now free your reindeer from the hoop. So turn your hoop over and taking care not to cut off the ears and the antlers. Uh, trim around the edge of your head. If you enjoyed this stitch along, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas, help and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me.